talking about the holiday spirit, and we are talking about a different type of holiday spirit, like the welcome back to the show. David and Ben with Manifest Distilling. Guys, it was great to connect with you guys a couple weeks ago to actually go out on site and the distillery. Such a cool place. Today, we will make a Christmas type cocktail. But before we dive into that, let's talk about all the, the things you guys have been working on. One of them is you teamed up with Florida Theater. That's right. So um, when we uh, launched the cocktail room just uh, a few months back, we opened up a program called Uplifting Spirits, which is our, our nonprofit arm. And, and every month we profile a different nonprofit. And December's nonprofit is the Florida Theater. That is awesome. And then last time we were out, we were learning about how you teamed up with the Iceman. So that is awesome. Congratulations on that Thanks. as well. Yeah, we're the official craft distiller of the Iceman, and they're in our backyard, so it made perfect sense. The guys over there have been really great to work with. Uh, it's a really fun winter sport. You know, I don't know if you guys have been to games yet, but yes, it's, it's yeah. a lot of fun. So we're, we're the pre- and post-game destination. All right, so Ben, you are up now. So when it comes to making like a holiday cocktail, there's one that you recommend. So what will you be making today? We're kind of actually talking about uh, a way to modify the cocktails that you know already um, to kind of fit within the season. So we're actually doing just a very simple cocktail. It's going to be an old fashioned, but what we've done here is we've um, infused our whiskey, which is actually a new bourbon of ours. We've infused it with Christmas tree tips, which is kind of fun. It gives us a little bit of Christmas tree aromatics. And it's just a classic old fashioned we're going to char the orange as well. So I'm just going to make it real quick here for you. Um, so with an old fashioned, we're going to give two ounces of the infused bourbon. Uh, and I'm going to make a couple of them at the same time. So why not? Yeah. Why not? Right? <laughs> give us all an opportunity. Best to try of friends. Yeah. Yes. Um, yes. Just a touch of sugar. You can actually change and add a little bit of flavor to that if you want to. But we're actually just going to amp up the Angostura, which has quite a bit of um, cinnamon in it already. So that kind of gives you that that, so uh, the sugar's kind of like your, the sugar's what you would use depending on the spirit, right? So if you have, if you have a, a whiskey that's a little bit sweeter, you're going to want to back off on the sugar. Yep. If you've got something that, um, that isn't, like a rye, you might want a little bit more sugar. So that's a way that you can kind of just tweak it at home and then yep. figure out whatever your amount is. And simple syrup really is just no. sugar and water. Yeah, because I feel like simple, when it comes so. to like cocktails at home, for the most part, people just stay basic. Right. But having these little bitty tricks really help sure. out, and you can expand your horizons on what you serve up. Exactly, yeah. So again, it's just really about modifying what you know and not trying to go too crazy with what you got. We're gonna add a little ice here. Throw some ice in these glasses. That's looking really good. I love the presentation too, even when we were out and we were in the, the bar part of the place. It's just so cool how you guys put things together and how you come up with different flavors. Right. Um, yeah, it's it's not it's not super super complicated. Um, again, what we're trying to want, want want people to be able to do is when they're at their own house, they have their own ingredients. They just have a way of you know taking what they know and modifying just a little bit, and it changes the cocktail quite a bit. So absolutely. And David, uh, I'll put it back to you for a second. So for the holidays. You actually provide a lot of different Christmas options and gift options for people out there, yeah, right? So yeah. when it comes to drinks, so how can people go? Can they order online? Do they drop into the store? Well, I mean, probably the best way is to come see us down yeah. at Manifest. I mean, because then you get to interact with us. Um, everybody there is super knowledgeable. You obviously get to, to have a, a delicious cocktail from one of these fine folks behind the bar. And, and, then, and then just interacting with them, learning a little bit about like what we're talking about today. It gives yeah. you some ideas. But then we do have a lot of gifting options. You know, we have gift boxes, you know, two packs, cocktail kits, that kind of thing. Um, so it's a, it's a great, uh, you could come down there and probably shop for most of your family that's over 21. <laughs> yeah, and one of the things I like too, when you are going to a party, how nice to have something in hand that right. everybody could share right. at that moment. That's so right. I think that's a great way to go. And now, it's local, so it's a conversation starter. It's like, oh, this is in Jacksonville. And you know, we still get people that are like, oh, I didn't know there's a distillery here. So that's a great point. And then also, okay, this little blowtorch thing right now to the orange, what is that doing to the flavor of the orange? It's actually uh, charring it a little bit, um, caramelizing the sugars in the orange, and uh, giving it a lot more aromatics um, when it's added into the old fashioned. Typically, you wouldn't put the whole orange in there, but we're going for Christmas yet. I, like so, I like it, I like it. So for example, go ahead, give that a smell, because just the, you're going to get that orange smell, right? Because oh, yeah. it's been burnt, gives yeah. it a nice. Uh... All right, gave it a smell, now it's time to give you it a You got a drink, set, go right? ahead. No, no, go ahead, you please, you made it, right, you made cheers. it. Cheers, yeah. cheers. Thank you. That is great. I'm always amazed every time that I come out and you put something together, how smooth it is and how many different flavors. Because a lot of times people will think when you have like bourbon or whiskey, it just 
overtakes everything. This does it. And right. what was the name of the one drink that you had the ice cubes in there that gave it the flavor? Oh yeah, that was our gin old fashioned. Yeah, yeah. that yeah, was that. really cool. So if you have the opportunity to stop on by, that's one I definitely recommend trying. It is perfect. If people want to learn more, what's the website? Uh, Manifestdistilling.com or Instagram, Facebook, both Manifest Distilling. Um, we kind of post all of our updates on there, new products. Like, like Ben mentioned, this bourbon is something that just came out two weeks ago. Um, so it's a brand new item for us, just hit the shelves. Um, and that's probably the best way to find out about us. And it's very smooth. Yeah. Well, thank, thank you, you guys. Happy holidays. Stick around. More to come right after this.